Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Super Sam 7 and I don't know when this video will go up, probably tomorrow because I am so excited because I just got a brand new package and I think I know what it is. I thought the order was, well, we'll see. Okay, let's open this up. As you see from the cover, you already know, or cover the thumbnail, you already know what this is. Very excited to get this, I think it came out in March. And yes, I do have. Oh my gosh, I am, I, I hope the camera is good because I'm looking at it through. Yes, I have the one with the black suited Spider-Man, the symbiote Spider-Man. I like to think of that as the symbiote suit, not the um cloth one he got in issue. He made he uh hired an issue 101 of Spectacular Spider-Man. Then it was the cloth black suit's first appearance. But anyway, the official handbook of the Marvel Universe Deluxe Edition. I am so happy that I have this. On my collection it has been in some context it's been over four years since i've bought a new comic book collection just because i've been way too busy i haven't really got you know you know had fun time wanted to have a fun time reading comics again so i have been collecting a little bit the last week and this is the big one. this is why i want to make a full video just on this so oh my gosh it is so amazing oh what hey there's a Forgotten Spider-Man villain slide. I think it was my 11th Forgotten Spider-Man Rogue video I made. Obviously these metal poles in the background are uh, Stilt Man. I think Wolverine. There's the side. Here's my hand. There's Bucky Barnes, Adam Warlock. I think... No, she has red hair. Hey, there's uh, Willow the Wisp and the Wizard. Emma Frost, Black Knight. Uh, I think the yellow... There's Baron Zemo, very bottom you can see okay so let me and if you're wondering where I'm at I'm where I record my uh, video game videos for this channel okay start out over there pick this up it's actually pretty heavy well not really I just picked it up with one hand I guess but uh anyway here we go oh, we didn't even look at the back yet here's what it looks like thick and collects official handbook of the Marvel Universe 1 through 20 so from what I know, these are all made uh, live, and then these are the issues of people who have died. Which is, there's MODOK, I didn't know MODOK. There's Drax, yep. Anyway, bigger, better, and beyond the grave. The deluxe edition of the official handbook offers upgrades in every way. Okay. So, it's already torn down here, but that's fine. I got this for $90. So, if you're wondering... Uh, about that stuff That's why oh my gosh. I love omnibuses But I'm going to trade paperback someday. I'll make a video and you will see why I am Kind of put this down Stay with me and I can't believe it There we go This is gonna look so cool on my shelf. There's one for DC as well called the DC Who's Who Omnibus. It is a Spider-Woman on there. Some of these characters I don't even know. Well, okay, I do know almost all of them. Wait, is that the Space Phantom? I was thinking of making a complete history of video on this guy. Uh, some of these people, I don't know. Who's that? Anyway, open it up the first time with me. A whole universe in your hands. Once again, from Abomination to Zax. It didn't went beyond with an appendix of alien races. Okay. Oh, well, it's falling off. So there's the inside. I don't really care. I do keep the dust jacket on. I don't know if that's a sin or not. And open up the first page. Here we go. Marvel Universe Deluxe Edition. Spider-Man. Yay. And here are the table of contents of all the characters. Uh, there's Baron Zemo. Beetle. On the sea, there's Cobra. And there's a whole bunch more. And here we go, Marvel Deluxe Edition number one. With all the A, B, A and B characters, I guess. I just say B because there's Baron Zemo, or Baron Mordo. And Abomination, so you can look at Abomination. But Zorbing Man's there. And Mantium, so they use almost all pages, all the full page for almost everyone. Sometimes they use more than one, and there's Ornamzola. I am just amazed. So, from what I've heard, 
best thing to do with these new omnibuses is to open you know one side up then the other side there's about six this is what i was talking about when it comes to characters who uh, have died i guess and then they come back on the end why it kind of starts oh here's the jackal this is before a clone saga so that's just a funny coincidence because well maybe it's not um there's porcupine an x-men villain pip the troll satana and they have places like the savage land spy master so i don't even know who spy master is so i'm super excited to see that there's tarantula another forgotten spider-man rogue here's oh this is swordsman he has three pages in here uh union jack the wizard you remember him from spider-man taz guy just called zombie and then some little extras here on the back i cannot wait volume three galactus the king oh i want to look at king because he's my favorite avengers villain I've said that before, so it's not just because of the, the MCU. And so, oh, here's the Magia Crumb family from uh, Spider-Man PS4. If you guys remember, maybe. Eol, Plant Man, and there's the big ones like uh, Count Nefaria, Hammerhead, Silvermane, Gladi there's Gladiator, Unicorn. Uh, my screen's going a little bit dark. Anyway, uh, Misty Knight, Destiny. What are these guys? The Demons? Okay, so we're in D. Human Torch to Kazar. Oh, is that the Impossible Man? <laughs> My fanboy is um is going crazy, crazy. I tell you, Moonstone. This is before she becomes the uh, Thunderbolt Hero Media, right? Okay, so I went to M. I guess maybe I needed to go back. Nope. Misty Knight, Claw, Killer Shride. Oh, okay. Yep, I still need to go back. There's a guy called Illusion. Kind of looks like Miracle Man. Is this Mr. Fantastic? Oh, no, Invisible Woman. Iron Man. Jack of Hearts. He's an Iron Man villain. Jack-o'-lantern. Did they say that he becomes the second Hobgoblin in, in this? Maybe not. John Jameson. I don't know if they, they'll probably say that. Yep, Man-Wolf right there. Okay, Rick Jones. Jester from there. He's a Daredevil villain. Kang the Conqueror. Here he is. So, well, there we go. I don't know. Here's, uh... Karma. I think she was in um, Marvel Team Up. She first appeared in Marvel Team Up issue 100. Does it say? Yep, right there. First appearance Marvel Team Up number 100. I don't know if you guys can see it or was the video this quality? Because I'm. Oh, there's Matt Thinker, Fantastic Four villain, Madrox. Kind of looks like the um. What's that guy's name from Superman Taz season two? Who who was after Lois Lane, Loomis or something? Kind of looks like that. Matt Thinker's Android, which was actually created by Mr. Fantastic. So I could go through this for all day. Merlin, Moon Knight, Mysterio, my favorite Spider-Man villain. This is a complete coincidence that I, that I just flipped the page to look at him. Um, I think this was from issue 199 or 198. I think 198. Amazing Spider-Man 198. Uh, this is from issue 67, Annual 1, Amazing Spider-Man 13. I do not even know where this picture of him comes from. It's one of his most iconic Mystique, uh, Namor Namorita, I don't know, Nebula. They have, they have uh, comic accurate looking um, King the Conqueror, if you were wondering. So like I said, there's also one of these for DC. Um, oh, here's Enchantress. There's Electra. Once again, all before 1985 at the start, so that's why something, some characters might not be in there like the Rose. Well, maybe the Rose is in here. I gotta check. I guess I can just go to the table of contents, but this is way more fun. There's Dr. Octopus from issue 12 right down there. We got Unmasked Spider-Man because Spider-Man is sick. Oh, I think this is from his best story. Um, Fantastic Four 284, I think. And then there's from issue 3, his first appearance. I like how they see the detail of his arms there, his mechanical arms. I never noticed that. Dragon Man, Fantastic Four villain, what to do, Firestar, Amazing Friends, Flag Smasher from... Well, the, the guy flies that. Full Killer, I think it's a forgotten Spider-Man rogue, right? No, first appearance, Man-Thing number three. And then there's another one in Omega the Unknown. Okay. So I don't know how boring this is. I do... There's Justin Hammer, Iron Man villain, Hawkeye. Used to be a villain, then turned good. Hela, Loki's daughter. Hope I didn't mess that up. Who was I going to look for? Um. Oh, here's Hobgoblin. 
Oh yeah, I was gonna look for the rose. Okay. Sift to sunspot. Wow, there's a Yep, there's a lot of people with the name S. Oh, here's Stilt Man fighting Daredevil. Nope, R comes before S. Sandman, these are just coincidences that um I'm finding these Spider-Man villains on here. Ronin, oh here he is, the rose. Oh, they have a lot. Oh, nope. It's just one page. So rocks on. Okay. So let me end it with the rose. And let me end it with closing the book because this is just amazing to flip through. I'm going to flip through this for hours. I think it's uh, over 1,600 pages. But uh, yeah, with that said, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed and have a good day.